our confession. There is power, power mighty. Hallelujah. In the blood of Jesus Christ. Our Lord, even when we think what you went through because of us, because of those who died, Aria, because of the generation that will come to serve you and to know you. Father, we praise you and we honor you because of what you did in Calvary. Thank you for paying the costly cost. Thank you for the pain and the suffering that you suffered because of us. We now enjoy every part of our life because of what you went through. You, you died right at the cross. Because of us, because of our children, because of our parent. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are here today. Not only to remind us, but to impact even our lives. Father, we thank you for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise and worship. Thank you so much. You are going to come back for a powerful praise. You can have a seat for a minute. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of you who are watching us or those who are going to watch us later. We want to tell you, you are a special person. May God bless you so much. We know, despite the lockdown, we can still have a time to commemorate and even to celebrate what Jesus did. Today is a good Friday. But we thank God. It is very good because we are alive. It's a good Friday because you are saved. And if you are not, let me tell you, the word is here. That is going just to challenge you so that you can give your life to, the, to Christ. I just want to appreciate our praise and worship. They have really read us very well. May God bless you for the anointing that is flowing in you. I want us to... I will just have 20 minutes to speak so that the praise and worship can come here and we have the final uh, praise and I know we are going to be blessed. For all those who are watching us, Luke chapter 23, 32. Luke chapter 23, 32 through 43. And if you're there, you can say amen even if we cannot see you. The Bible says, there were also two others criminals led with him to be put to death. That means Jesus, when he was going to Calvary, he was not alone. There were two criminals. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him. And the criminals, one on the right hand, and the other one on the left. Then Jesus said, listen to me, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. And they divided his garment and casted rods. And the people stood looking on. But even the rulers with them sneered saying, He saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ, the chosen of God. The soldiers also mocked him. Coming and offering him with a saw wine. And saying, if you are the king of the Jew, save yourself. And an inscription also was written over him in a letter of Greek 
Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. Then one of the criminals who were hanged blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other, answering, rebuked him and saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And he indeed justly, for he received the due rewards of our deeds. But this man was done, has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, surely I say to you, Today, you will be with me in paradise. What a word. Hallelujah. You know, the cross of Jesus is the cornerstone of our faith. It is the chosen symbol of the Christian Faith. Thank God we see it now as an empty cloth because the seeming tragedy for good and apparently victory over evil was overturned by the power and the purposes of God into the triumph. Of the resurrection of Jesus. I know. Already we know the victory. That came. But reading those words. You feel like. You are broken. You are shaken. But with God. It's like you have already watched the movie. You know what will happen. You know what has already happened. And that's why. We have come. Today. To remind you. That there is victory at the cross of Jesus Christ. But maybe we can ask ourselves, but what does it mean for us? Is the cross or the cross of Jesus Christ, is it an experience that we can say it was just a human being who came right at the cross and he was crucified there? Or can we look at the cross as something, as a wooden thing that it is too big tiba that are screwed together? The cross of Jesus Christ is God's final word. And I repeat, the cross of Jesus Christ is God's final. I wish you can say final, my viewer. I wish you can say final words as to the character and the consequence of human sin. It, it was the final words as to the character and the consequence of human sin and of the wonder and sacrifice of divine love. Let me tell you. Ire da bihu irifanyo kaifari. Hakuta patikana ingine na hakuna ingine tunagojea yatosha. Ya kaifari inatosha. Jesus went to the cross so that we, I wish you can say we, so that we, through his death and resurrection, that we might have a personal relationship with God that we might know its power in every area of our lives. That we might know the power of the close in every area even in this time of corona the power of the cross will prevail. It will be seen 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, to the Christian, it is much more than just the cross. It is a shorthand. It's an expression meaning of the death of Jesus by which he made a full atonement of sin. I wish you can say full atonement of sin. Na usidaganyo na wengine. Amba wanasema razima ufanyi. Dio dhabi zako. Usamehewe. Jibu ya dhabi zetu kwa msaraba. Jibu ya maisha yetu kwa msaraba. Jibu ya corona kwa msaraba. Hallelujah. Jesus. He stretched. He stretched out. Or he was stretched out between heaven and earth. Wakati alisurubiwa. Ari. Ari pigiri wa musumari kwa kichwa. Migu nayo ikanyoka chini. He was stretched between heaven and earth. Suffering more than anyone has ever suffered. Because of who? You and me. The cross is Jesus as a savior. There is no holier place that we can ever hope to come than the cross of Jesus. That is the holier place that we can go. That is where the answer for our sins, for our life is found. Hallelujah. The gospel contained the most wonderful commentary on the cross. In the words of Jesus himself, he spoke some words. Yesu adinena maneno parem sarabani. In fact, there are seven sayings. I know we might not be able to elaborate, but on Sunday we are here. But I'm going to touch some of them. Number one, one of the saying of Jesus. Number one, the first word is Rook 23, 34. Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Father, those who are the words from Jesus. Baba wasamehe kwa maana hawajui kile wanafanya. The word is forgive them. Jesus said forgive them. Alikuwa anasema forgive who? There were so many people who were close to him. There were those people who executed him. They were soldiers, they were Roman there were people around him. Ata kulikuwa na disciples ambao they handed him over. What is all this? Kulikuwa na wale walimpigiria musumari. All that. So the question is, ni nani hawa alikuwa nasema, forgive them, for they do not know. This was a prayer. This was a prayer that Jesus made for us. It was a prayer that he made for those people who were there at that time. Father, forgive them. His eyes would have taken in other groups. There were teachers who hated him. There were priests who brought him with the silver. Who bought him with the silver. There were traitors who sold him to them. The crowd... Who had cried, crucify him at the face of his trial. And in the distance was the pirate in his, in his parish trying to save his conscience by blaming somebody else for what has happened or what was happening. But I like to think that Jesus. Was looking at the wider body of people. 
than even those who are there and those that were mentioned. Kuligana na Yesu alikuwa na papas flani. Na alikuwa na niona, alikuwa na kuona. Hata naona wale watakuja wakati hatuta kueko. His purpose was beyond the few people who did crucify him. Hallelujah. And I want to say this. That there is something that we can learn from this. They said crucify him. Tunataka asurubiwe para msarabani. What was all this? Mankind had become so brightened by evil, so corrupted by sin, but that they reacted violently to the purity and holiness of God as shown in the Lord Jesus Christ. This poor representative of mankind was swept along by the power of Satan in seeking to destroy the Lord of glory. They do not know what they were doing. But they did it all the same. The word of this word from the close is that there is forgiveness. My brother, my sister. Kile ningetaka ushike kwa hii maneno. There is forgiveness of sin. Kuna watu wamekuja na doctrine ingine wanasema, apana, hakuna kusamehewa kwa dhabi. I am here to tell you, these were the words that Jesus prayed. Pare kaivari. Alisema, wa samehe kwa maana hawajui kile wanafanya. I am here to declare as a man of God, there is forgiveness of sin. Hata wewe ambaye umefanya mambo kadhaa na unaona ni kana kwamba Mungu hata kusikia niko hapa nikwambie God will forgive you Hakujalishi umeua nani hakujalishi umefanya nini hakujalishi ni dhabi gani All what you need is to accept the sacrifice right at the Calvary and you're forgiven when you confess your sins you will be forgiven there is forgiveness for the disciples who forsook Jesus and fled that night. There is forgiveness of the evil ones who drove him to the cross. There is forgiveness of the soldier who nailed him right at the cross. Forgiveness of the bitter hearts of the religious enemies, the priests and the teachers. There is forgiveness of the person who has ever sinned and made a mistake? There is forgiveness for you and me. Thank God there is forgiveness. But it's a forgiveness that require to take, you know, to be taken individually. I say to be taken individually. To be drawn upon the way that God has plans. Years later, one of the disciples, that is John, he, rest, he reinstated this. If you read in 1 John, I say 1 John 1.9. 1 John 1.9. The Bible says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. This disciple John, Akarudia Yare Maneno Pare Calvary. Forgive them, for they do not know. So, G, you know, John, Akawa Ame echo the same word. Nana Sema. If I say it, my viewer, if. If you confess that sin, yes, ni kweli wame kuongea kijiji mzima, ni kweli wamejua kile umefanya, but if, that makes all the difference. 
if you confess. Na wale ambao tuko kanisani, ni kweli watu ufanya dhabi. But if they confess, please leave them alone. Jesus know how to handle their case. Hallelujah. If we confess our sin, the Bible say, he is faithful. He is faithful. I say, he is faithful. Hallelujah. Forgiveness of sin. He is faithful. Our God is faithful. Hallelujah. Maybe you are there and you carry in your heart, in your life, unforgiveness in your heart. Uko na ile roho inakuaga gumu to forgive people. Labda hata saa hii unanisikiza kuna watu umebeba sijui alinifanya sijui alinifanyia sijui alifanya I am here to tell you the Calvary Jesus when he was dying he said forgive them Hata wale walimpigilia msimari alisema sina moyo mbaya na wao he forgave them Wewe ni nani Wewe ni nani Ukose kusameheana. I am telling you, samehea yule ya mekukosea, yule ambaye ya mekukosea sana. Ni kweli you have all the right, ni kweli umekosewa vibaya, ni kweli mutu wa menyanganya vitu zako, but I'm here to tell you, forgive them. Because also, you need forgiveness. Wakati mwingine we behave as if, we will never need one. But soon, time will tell. You will need a lot of people. You will go to them and say, please kindly forgive me. No one who doesn't need forgiveness. At the Calvary, at the cross of Jesus, he uttered those words and he said, forgive them, forgive them. Forgiveness has always been the horror mark, I say, horror mark of Christianity. And following this great example of its founder, the first Christian martyr, Stephen, shone this spirit when he was being stoned. You remember Stephen? Yeye wakati alikuwa napigwa mawe, alisema, the same word, Lord, he prayed. Do not hold this sin against them. Forgive them, for they, didn't, they do not know what they are doing. And I'm here to talk to you. I don't know whether you are Christian or you are a non-Christian. But I'm here to tell you, you have to be having a heart that of Christ. Can we have a heart of Christ? A heart of Christ is a heart that forgive. Forgive those people. Forgive them. Yes, wame kwarusa. Royako, but you can say, I forgive them. You can call them now. You can tell them, yes, but I have decided in this day that Jesus forgave us to forgive you. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. The second one, and, uh, and I'm done, two minutes. The second one, he said, today, that is in Rook 23, 43. Today, you will be with me in paradise. Just imagine. Yesu alisurubiwa katikati. Yawezu wawili. Na, kuna moja aliongea vibaya. Na kasema, yes. Kama wewe ni the king of the Jew, na wewe usafe. Why don't you save yourself? But there is another one. And he said, Surely, I say to you, you know, before then, before then, that is 42. Can you give me 42? He said, 42, please. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. I want you to see the difference between the two thieves. Mumoja anaka anachekelea yesu. 
Lakini kuna mwingine anaangalia tabia za Yesu. Anaangalia naona kwa uchungu. Anapigiriwa misumari, anafanya dhabi, yet moyo wake unasema forgive them. Anatazama anasema pana. Anasema Lord remember me when you come into your kingdom. Number one, Huyu jamaa alijua mimi ni mwizi. Mimi nafanyiwa haki lakini huyu hafanyiwi haki. Yeye ako na kingdom yake. Yeye ni Mungu. Na kwa hivyo akapata opportunity ya kuambia Mungu remember me. Do you know today my viewer? It's a good day for you to say the same word. Lord, remember me. There is a time we have done whatever we have done. Our conscience is screaming. Inatuarati ya kwamba tumefanya dhambi. That is a good time to say the same word. Lord, remember me. Forgive me. And even today, we can utter the same word. Tumwambie Bwana, forgive us. Amen. Instead of cursing from his lips, Jesus, he spoke forgiveness. He spoke forgiveness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Instead, it seems, hallelujah. No man, you know what is teaching us? No man is beyond hope of redemption. I wish you can say that. No man, can you say no man is beyond hope of redemption. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu huyo alikuwa mwizi. Na hapa anahukumiwa, anauliwa. Lakini hata kama alikuwa hivyo, Mungu akamuokoa. Niko hapa nikuelezee. You are not beyond the hope of God. You are not beyond. God want to change your life. God want to change us. Yes, it is not too late. Huyu mwizi ilikuwa 11 the hour. But he cried to God. Hata wewe, siju uko na miaka ngapi? You can cry to Jesus. And the moment you cry, Jesus will be willing to change your life. God is willing to change our life. Hallelujah. Kuna watu men and women who are thinking it is hard to be saved. It is difficult to come to Christ. It is difficult to become a Christian. But it is clear this man was saved simply by asking the Lord, save me. Wakati mwingine tuna complicate salvation. Salvation is just saying, Jesus, save me. Yule mwizi, you know mungu wakaweza kumuokoa, yesu wakamuokoa. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ya yeye tu kutaja, save me. And for sure, Jesus saved his life. In other words, his request, hiyo request yake, ikapokelewa hapo hapo. Na maisha yake ikawa imebadilika. There is no doubt that that man was a criminal. He had broken the rule of the Lord. He was crucified for the reason. But the measure of a sin did not utter his chance for being saved one little bit. Dhabi zako hata ziwe namna gani hazitasuia. Yesu akupokee. Mimi sijui umefanya nini niko hapa nikuelezee. Tunaposherekea this Easter Mungu ana uwezo wa kukuokoa. 
ni kweli umefanya mambo mengi kama huyu mwizi alikuwa amehukumiwa kila kitu yake imeisha watu wao wamempeana na wamesema huyo hatutamuona tena lakini ali, aliweza kutumia the opportunity vizuri sana haleluya tumia hii nafasi ambayo Mungu amekupatia haleluya let no one despair let no one have or be in despair thinking they are too bad to be saved you cannot be in a bad shape to meet Christ Jesus is saying come those who are heavy burdened come wale ambao wako na mdhambi kujeni another important lesson that we can learn from this personal encounter of this dying thief is that salvation does do, does not depend on religions it does not depend on religious ceremony or a good deeds or any contribution from man watu wengine wanasemanga sijaokoka vizuri kwa sababu sijaekelewa mikono na fadha kwa sababu sijaekelewa ha kwa sababu sijapatishwa lakini niko hapa ni kuelezee hii inaonyesha dhahiri ya kwamba as long as you have called Jesus to save you he will save you you don't need a religious ceremony you don't need all those things and i'm here to tell you wewe ambao unanisikiza just accept him accept the lord and you'll be saved hallelujah the two thieves they were crucified with jesus one repented and the other did not the time of decision came to both of them both of them they were faced with a time to make a decision do you know even today right now i'm speaking you are faced with a decision you either repent or not you either change or not there is one who changed there is another one who said no always time you will face a time to change and there is somebody else who will say i will not change every time we come to church it's a time either to change or not what are you wewe utafanya namna gani na time yako are you going to change when it come to the choice do you choose rebellion or a repentance the time to change is not tomorrow it is now and i want to say it is now or never may god see you may god touch you in the name of jesus father i thank you i thank you for what you did at the cross i thank you for this dear one you you are by haja okoka muokoe na kwa wale tumeokoka every time we make a mistake we sin we will confess why because you are faithful to forgive us i thank you lord as we continue to celebrate this easter we shall be here on sunday oh yes and we shall be saying he is alive jesus is alive it might be a dark day today but there is a day that is coming for us all to celebrate i thank you for what you did in cavalry thank you for what you shall do to my brother and i take this opportunity to remember our nation even this time that we are struggling because of corona and there is rock down father come through for us come through for us come through for us come through for us change the situation protect your people the sick one let them receive the salvation in the name of jesus Father, we thank you for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Kwa wale wana to watch, I want to welcome the praise and worship. And we are going to have one powerful praise. You can read us with one powerful praise. And as we sing that song, 
Hallelujah. We are going to give our offering. I know you are there. We are going to put on that screen our, P, our, PB, our, our teal number. And we are going to give an offering. Especially in this day. The day that we are remembering what happened. We were bought by, with a price. And after they sing one that song, I will come again just to say the benediction. We shall be here Sunday, the first service at 9. The second service, it will be at 11. God bless you. Amen. Welcome.
our viewer, thank you so much because of how you've been following us. May God bless you. You are already blessed. Before us is a great praise and worship. Every week we shall be coming. Just one hour of worship. We are in a time when so many of us, we are passing through hard time. But there is one thing we can do. We cannot go there to mama, but we can worship the, the Lord. We know why we were created, is to worship the King of Kings. We shall be giving ourselves one hour to worship him. One hour just to tell God, we worship you, we love you. And we know he's going to raise a standard against this phenomenon, against whatever is happening even in our nation. Join us every week. Hallelujah. And I know all of us, we are going to be blessed. Please join us every Sunday. Sunday coming exactly nine sharp. We shall be here for a English service. Then we will have a Kikuyu service exactly at 11. Please join us and we will be blessed. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to minister through worship. Father, I know there is somebody whom have been encouraged. We lift up our nation. We know the answer will come from you. We are waiting. There is always a way out. We know out of all this, there is a way out. We are waiting for that way out. Yes. Father, we thank you even for those that are in hospital. Those who are critically ill. Father, we lift them unto you. Because we know you have an answer for them. Yes. You have an answer for them. Hear their cry. Touch them now. And let them stand again. Let them have a testimony of a king who is a healer. We thank you for all of us. Meet us to the very point of our needs. Bless us. Praise even this praise and worship. For leaving every other thing they were doing. To come and lead us before you. May you meet them to the very point of their needs. Don't allow them to struggle. They are your servant. They are anointed for a time like this. May you lift them even to a higher level. We thank you for each one of us. We pray for all our members wherever they are. My father and my God. Remember them Lord. Remember this man. Remember this women. Remember this youth. Remember our children. Remember every one of us. And we pray that you may meet us to the very point of our needs. Bless us in the name of the Father, the Son, and that of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen and amen. We love you so much. May God bless you. Amen. amen. You can have a parting something. God bless you. <laughs>